Okay, so uh, this is Dion, and uh, I'm interviewing uh, Reagan Moreland. Uh, Reagan had a uh, injury to her right knee uh, during the summer, early period of summer, and uh, she's uh, worked her way back to the court, and uh, this is her senior year. And I've got Moreland here with me, and uh, she plays uh, point guard and shooting guard with Dallas Thunder, and uh, she's having a, uh, a really good uh, – Remarkable comeback, and uh, we want to continue to work on that. But I've got a couple of questions with you. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Doing good. Uh, I, uh, I've been pondering and asking you this question today, and I thought I'd do it shortly after we got through our, our workout today. And So what can you tell me has helped you the most in here training with me, come back from, from this injury? How, how is training with me personally in this gym – help your psyche, you know, your attitude, your self-confidence, your self, you know, drive your comeback, basically. You know, try to explain that a little bit to me, because I've always wondered. Um, well, right now, with my comeback, it just, getting on, back on the court and just working out really, like, helps me to think, like, I can get back to where I was. It's going to take time, but I can do it. Um, I didn't really because I didn't know if I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to come back as strong as I was before but it's really helping me with my confidence knowing that I can do it and then I have you know you to encourage me and I also have my family and stuff like that um so yeah yeah that's cool I've, again I've always wondered you know when you leave here you know am I making a difference and, and I think yeah is it, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a human too, and a lot of people have to, you know, me training for 32 years would think that that doesn't matter to me, but it does. And I guess for you as a baller, you probably, you know, you, you want to know that your performance, even on your team, as it relates to you and your coach, you, you like to hear positive feedback or even, you know, constructive criticism, you know what I mean? So that if there's something you need to do differently, you'll do it. But uh, I've always wondered you know, what that would uh, sound like coming from you. Yeah, I mean, when I walk out of here, just, I just, I mean, just getting this workout done, it makes me feel, like, really good. Like, it makes me have energy and just think in my mind, like, I can do this and that I can do whatever I want with basketball right now. Um, So, yeah. Well, you're... uh, your self motivation really has been encouraging because you've been through a lot, and it takes a psychological yeah. effect on on you when you're a senior, and you're like, "Why am I having to come back from, you know, an injury going into my senior year?" That's not what you would expect. Mm-hmm. No, it just—I mean, it happened in the summer, just out of nowhere, and it. Just- I didn't know how long it would take for me to come back. I really thought it would take like maybe a month at the very least, but like it took um, about four months, I think. So I don't really think I was prepared for that, but like I was always um, thinking like, am I gonna be able to come back and play like I did before or better? but after, you know, getting released and getting back onto the court, it's just, I mean, all those negative thoughts have really, I mean, they're still there, but most of them have really gone away because, I mean, I'm thinking, like, I could, I could do it. Yeah. Negative thoughts are like butterflies. Um, yeah. You know, they're there for a moment, but then they, they fly away. They go away. And, you know, throughout my life, I've had some of these similar injuries as well, and I've been impacted uh, by it as well. That's why I enjoy passing on my knowledge and my uh, different levels of adversity uh, and the wisdom that I gain, you know, in overcoming them, I pass it on to you guys. And I would probably again say to you uh, in closing that, you know, success is really, a lot of success involving, it involves being comfortably uncomfortable. And I guess this morning, I was on the court, uh, and I used the word, you know, I told you that, uh, you know, 
the uncomfortable part of, of life is like petrol, you know? Mm -hmm. And and I think, what did you say when I said, it's like, you know, <laughs> petrol, putting <laughs> petrol in your tank, and, you, and what did you say? <laughs> what is petrol? What is petrol? You know, I'm like, oh man, I guess we're gonna spend a little bit more time, you know, teaching you about, you know, other elements of the game, you know, that coincides with this, but, and, and what did you learn petrol is? Petro is gas. Pet petro is gas, and you need that, you know, to go along with this journey. And so, you know, adversity, again, uh, is like Petro, uh, being uncomfortable, getting uncomfortable, hardships. Again, if you work through them and you don't, you know, give in to them, you uh, persevere and remain uh, faithful and committed, mm -hmm. and you're going to eventually get out of, uh, you're going to get everything you want out of what you're putting into it. And, I think you can attest to the fact that you put a lot of hard work into yeah. uh, into your play. Yeah. Has it been easy? Oh no, not at all. Yeah. No. So what would you tell a young player today who's experienced an injury? Um, I mean, just believe in yourself. You should surround yourself with people that are going to encourage you as well. Um, just when you want to give up, uh, just try to push through as hard as you can because Whenever you're, you know, not worrying about your injury and you're, you know, at the end of your season or something like that, you're going to be like the height at the height of um, success. And it's just going to make you stronger. It's just going to make you stronger mentally um, coming back from an injury because it does, I mean, it does take a, <laughs> it does take a, quite a hold on your mind about it, but it's when you push through, it'll just make you stronger. Yeah, well, we'll close on this one. How has your faith, you know, uh, impacted uh, your comeback? Um, I think, I mean, I, I pray every day about it. Um, and honestly, I know God's listening because every day it's my knee is feeling stronger and it feels like it's, you know, getting better. And I just feel like I can if I keep in prayer and just keep looking in the gospel that he'll just, you know, heal me because he wants the best for me and this is just part of my plan and I mean he just wants me to get through this adversity and you know come on top amen amen well, listen uh I really enjoyed uh visiting with you uh today and uh I want to wish you the best and uh, continue to push through as you said earlier and uh hoping a basketball uh, will always be here for you and uh, thanks for this short interview